Now we're ready to install our nest box on a freestanding pole with a predator guard. So all the pieces that we need for the project are here. We have our predator guard, which is a cone baffle. We have a brace for our predator guard so it doesn't fall down the pole. And we have our nest box that we just made. Now we're going to install this on a freestanding pole. This is our half inch EMT conduit, which is going to be mounted on a half inch diameter rebar. The rebar is cut to four foot length and the conduit is cut to a five foot length. We're gonna use a mallet or you can use a sledgehammer to hammer in the rebar into the ground, which you'll see later. We have two pipe clamps or U clamps, four screws, so two per clamp. Uh, we're gonna use an EMT coupler to attach the rebar to the conduit and just a regular screwdriver to, to finish the project. I have work gloves here. These are optional and you might find them helpful. All right, first we're gonna start by putting the U-clamps on the back of our nest box. On the back here, we also have this piece of spare scrap wood um, that we've installed on the top part. So when we put our conduit up against the pole, it'll have something to rest on. Okay, I'll start with a U-clamp. I'll let you get that situated. And it's gonna take two screws per clamp. And just tighten that down. And you wanna make sure this screw is short enough that it won't go all the way through into the interior of the nest box, but long enough to hold this securely. We use two U-clamps for added stability on the pole. I'm just going to tighten that down and then we'll be ready for clamp number two. Make sure that's good. I could do a little more there. Last one. Perfect. That looks great. Now let's attach the predator guard to the pole. Now I'm using a cone type baffle, but you could really use any kind of predator guard. You could even make one yourself if you like. This one is just conveniently available at many wild bird stores. So I'm gonna slide that over the pole about six inches below the bottom of the nest box. So if you can hold that. The brace will go underneath the comb baffle. Slide that up. And then just tighten down the pieces so that our predator guard doesn't slide down. You'll want to get this pretty tight because over time the metal can shrink or contract and the predator guard might slide down so you just want to make sure it's nice and tight which this one is. Our last piece is an EMT coupler. It came with two screws. I've removed one and I'm replacing it with a longer screw for this project. The longer screw is going to be facing the ground. The shorter one will be at the top. Okay, I'm not gonna tighten this one just yet. We're gonna wait until we put it at the top of the rebar. Once it's assembled, our nest box is going to look like this on the pole. The predator guard is wobbly, that's okay. Spin it around. It's gonna be nice and sturdy and we're ready to install this on the rebar. Now we're ready to install our nest box assembly on the rebar system. Before choosing a location to install your birdhouse, you want to consider the habitat for the birds you're trying to attract. So in this instance, we've picked an area that is 
at the edge of a woodland and an open area so that we can attract both woodland and open nesting species. So for example, bluebirds, tree swallows, chickadees, wrens, nuthatches, any of those species might be interested in this particular habitat. So keep that in mind when you're choosing a location. And always before you dig, make sure to check for any underground utilities that might be a safety issue for your project. So once you do that and you set your location, you're ready to go. This looks good to me. Get it started. That looks good to me. That's about two feet in and we're ready for the nest box now. Okay, so slide that down. And the last step is to screw in the bottom piece of the coupler to the rebar. We want to screw that in nice and tight so that the conduit doesn't spin on the pole, which it's not doing, so that looks good. And this is our finished setup with the nest box on a freestanding pole with a predator guard. And now that we have our birdhouse set up and ready to go, we're ready to nest watch this birdhouse for science. For more information and free resources on building your own nest box, visit nestwatch.org or email us at nestwatch at cornell.edu.